I found a bunch of kittens in a sewer a couple months ago and I've been taking care of them and their mom ever since and this is gonna be kind of like a update on the sewer cats video. If you missed it, I posted a video a few weeks ago where I kind of explained how I found them and how this started and what was going on. And this video is gonna be a little bit more of like an end to the sewer cat saga. Not in a bad way, nothing bad happened. I just don't have all of them living with me anymore. So it's just like a final update in that sense. But if you notice the two cats running around behind me a second ago, it's not really a final update because I'm keeping two of them permanently. Okay, so quick to catch you up to speed. My little sister had been feeding this stray cat that we called Frankie for a couple of months because she kept coming around my parents' house. And then a few weeks ago, we got a call from a neighbor who was like, hey, is that little black cat yours? And we were like, oh no, it's a stray, but we're trying to like catch her and bring her in. And the neighbor goes, okay, yeah, well that little black cat, she has kittens and they're in the sewer in front of my house. So obviously me and my family were like, um, what? <laughs> because one, didn't know she was a girl, never got that close to her, had no idea she was pregnant, and we thought she was a kitten. So this whole thing was like a very, very extreme shock to us. So I like ran home when I got this news. We got the kittens, we got Frankie, their mom, put them all in a carrier and brought them to the vet. And honestly, we got really good news at the vet. For kittens that were strays and living in a sewer, they were very healthy. A lot of times kittens like this have a lot of health issues. They, they didn't really, they didn't even have fleas. And the vet guessed that they were about five weeks old at the time. Obviously, we don't actually know how old they are because we found them in a sewer, so I don't know when they were born. And then we brought them from my parents' house to my house to keep them safe and all together because my parents have dogs, so I thought it would just be easier to have them here. There's less animals to worry about here than at my parents' house because I only had one cat before this, and now I've just been taking care of them all ever since. So the major biggest update is that I am keeping Sunny and Shrimp permanently. You may have seen them. They've kind of been running around back and forth behind me. And then like the slightly sadder update is that Frankie and one of the babies, Sam, have gone home to my parents' house permanently. My family was always planning on trying to take in Frankie before this happened, but, but then this happened. So now they've kept her. And they also have one of the babies, Sam, who was like the most independent. So we thought it made the most sense for Sonny and Shrimp to stay together and then Sam to go with his mom. I gotta be honest, the day that I sent them home was like one of the hardest things I have ever done. I knew this whole time that I wasn't going to be keeping them all. So it wasn't like I was sad about me not seeing them. Plus like they're at my parents' house. The cats live in my childhood bedroom right now at my parents' house. So it isn't like a bad thing, but oh my God, I felt like the most evil person on the planet when I had to just like pick up Frankie and one of the babies and then take them away. And the thing is they're not gonna see each other again, right? A lot of people that don't know much about cats sort of assume that like, oh, you can have play dates and stuff like that. No, <laughs> you cannot have play dates. Cats are very territorial. They don't like other cats really. Once they've been separated for a while, they're not gonna wanna like come back together. They won't recognize each other. There's obviously outliers to this, but for the most part, that's just not, it's not a thing. So anyway, I felt like a really evil, horrible person taking them away and like separating them, even though I know deep down it's for the best. Like I, I did the right thing. It just still was hard for me emotionally. I honestly don't even think the cats care. Like Shrimp and Sunny, no reaction. Frankie is doing better at my parents' house because she's got my sister there full time and she only has one kid instead of three pestering her. She's been playing and stuff, which is kind of big for her because obviously she was a stray and then she was a mom. So she was very busy doing mom things and not really doing kids things. But now Frank only has one kid there and he's a bit bigger so they can actually play together and stuff. She's been doing so well. The other major, major update on Frankie is that she actually got spayed yesterday. When I talked about Frankie at first, people were like, why didn't you get her spayed? And I was like, we found, I found her in a sewer. Like it's not my, it's not my cat. I didn't know. Like I, I thought she belonged to someone at first. Anyway, obviously you all understand that there's just people on the internet who are kind of weird about stuff like that. The vets wanted to wait until the kittens were a little bit older and completely weaned and stuff before getting her spayed. So she was able to do that yesterday. It was actually kind of funny because Snap, my cat, my little old lady cat had surgery yesterday too. She had to get some teeth removed. I'll, I'll talk about that next, don't worry. But me and my mom were like parked at the vet waiting at the exact same time yesterday morning. They had to both be there at 7.30 in the morning, bright and early. So my mom and I are both driving up, <laughs> parked next to each other waiting. But yeah, Frank got home from her surgery. She's doing great. She's got this like little orange slice soft cone to wear after her surgery and she looks so cute. I feel bad because she does doesn't, she doesn't like the cone, but like she can't be trusted. She has to wear it so she won't like mess with and lick her wound and stuff, obviously. But she's been doing really well. Things are good over there. And Snappy, okay, so here's the deal with Snap. She's kind of had a, a whole slew of things pop up recently, kind of all at once. She's doing okay, everything's fine, but she did recently get some 
routine blood work done that said she was in the early stages of kidney disease, which is very common in older cats. She's 15, but now she's on a fancy prescription diet. So that's very exciting. She actually likes it a lot, which is good. I've heard a lot of stories about cats just hating their prescription food, but she actually likes it a lot. So that's a relief. And then she also had kind of a messed up tooth. One of her front canines was like not doing so good. The vets were worried it was gonna fall out. So we scheduled like a full dental surgery exam cleaning. So she did that yesterday. She had to go under anesthesia for it, which I was horrified and very stressed out by. She was there all day. I dropped her off at 7.30 and I picked her up at 5.30. So that was like a very stressful experience for me because they at first said I could pick her up probably around 1.30 and then like 1.30 went by and 2.30 went by and 3.30 went by. And I was just, I was really, really anxious all day about her. When I went to pick her up, they were like raving about how sweet she is and how good she did. They gave her like this little certificate of bravery. I would show you, but it's got the vet's name on it. So I probably shouldn't, but they gave her like a printed out certificate of bravery with her name on it. Look, I don't want to make any comparisons, but Frankie did not get a certificate of bravery and snapped it and they had surgery at the same time. I don't know why. I don't, I don't think Frankie did bad, but like <laughs> snap got a certificate. But anyway, they had to remove three of her teeth yesterday. So she only has one fang on the front of her mouth now. Oh, and my poor baby, when she came home, she was so wobbly after the anesthesia, which is perfectly normal, obviously. And her like trying to walk and falling over. Anyway, she's, she's needed some supervision, obviously. She's got some medicine for the pain and stuff. They think she's gonna be fine in just a few days, which is a relief. She ate fine last night. She ate fine this morning. Things are doing good for her. And that brings us to the kittens because obviously I have two that I'm keeping permanently. I realize that you've all been seeing pictures of these guys for a few weeks now, but this is Shrimp and Sunny making their on-camera debuts. Okay, calm down. I have to talk about you. Okay, Sunny doesn't want to participate. This one is Shrimp. He's a little bigger than his sister. And I don't know if you can tell, but he also has one white whisker. So they're very easy to distinguish when you're actually around them in person. This one is Sunny. She is the small one and the little girl and she doesn't want to be held anymore. <laughs> Some of her funniest little quirks are that she's obsessed with her brother. She's still kind of like shy and unsure. So sometimes when she can't find him, she starts crying. She'll like run up to the top of the stairs and sit there and be like, oh my God, where's shrimp? And then start yelling until she can see him again. But like, it's your own fault. You were the one, you went up there. Like you ran away from him and now you're upset. She also has what we like to describe as bug eyes. And that's kind of mean, but like, if you ever look at her, she always has like the widest eyes. They're just, they're just big. She's got big eyes, but she's always kind of funny looking because of her giant eyes. She also used to look a lot more like a rat than a cat, at least more so than her brothers did. So we, we kind of made fun of her for that, but you can usually tell that it's her because she's small and she's got bug eyes. Shrimp is the big one. And like I said, he's got these like ginormous paws. I think he's gonna be huge. His head's big, his paws are big. Like I said, you can tell it's him because he has the one white whisker and he's also just really, really big. Currently his favorite thing is running up and down the stairs, just up and down. He recently discovered how to do stairs and he's realized that he really likes them. So just up and down, up and down constantly. He'd do it all day if he could. They only do it when supervised right now. <laughs> we aren't allowed to just free roam everything yet because of Snap, but when we are supervised, we really, really enjoy stairs and we don't enjoy being held by Kayla so she can talk about us on YouTube. In his defense, I, I've been sat here repeating myself like 15 times, so <laughs> I wouldn't want to sit through it either if I were him, but those are my two sewer babies. At this point, they're about 14 weeks old. They've been going to their regular appointments. They've been getting their shots. The vets are very impressed at how big they are. <laughs> they think shrimp is very large. The vet was like, oh my God, do you know who the dad is? Because shrimp is massive and he's got these giant paws. And the answer is no, I, I don't know who the dad is, but shrimp looks very big for his age. I have a feeling that he's gonna be a very large cat when he grows up. Sunny is a normal sized cat. Shrimp is just very big. It's also funny because the vet, every time we would go see them with all of the babies together, every time they would open the carrier and be like, oh my God, they're all the same because <laughs> they're all black. Mom's all black. The kitties are all black. They're like little clones of each other. So these are my little voids. You can probably tell that they are a little bit chaotic because you know, they're babies. <laughs> I had to move the curtain up. I like pulled it off the floor because I didn't trust them to not try and climb it. So it's up so they can't get to it as easily. I've been doing a lot of kitten proofing in the house. The thing is, I have a 15 year old, very sweet angel baby. She doesn't get into things. She's very calm. She just kind of cuddles 
battles. Like she plays, but not chaotically. So having these babies and having two of them has been sort of an adjustment for me. We've been working on some slow introductions between them and Snap. Obviously not over the last couple days, we had to take a pause because of Snap's dental surgery. But we've been trying to do some slow introductions. I waited until after Frankie and Sam were gone because I, I didn't think it was a good idea for Frankie and Snap to meet with them both being adult cats. It's a lot easier to introduce a kitten to an adult cat than to have two adult cats meet. And I thought that that was kind of like undue stress for both of them when they wouldn't have to ever see each other again after this. So now that Frankie has gone home, we've been starting to introduce Snap to the babies. Things are going about as expected. She's really scared of them and they have met face to face. Now, when you start introducing cats, you kind of have to do some scent swapping. So you'll start off with trading blankets or towels or something with each other scent on them. And then we were working on some space trading. So I would like bring the kittens up here into my office and then let Snap go into their room to sniff it and smell around. And when Snap went into their room to sniff things, she didn't really react or care about like smelling them through a door or smelling their towels. But when she actually went into their room, she was hissing at everything. Hissing at the chair, hissing at the cat tree, hissing at their food bowls. Like she was just hissing at everything first try, which again, totally normal, but very stressful for me because I felt like an evil person who was ruining my cat's life. But we did that a few times and every time she got better, she even tried to eat their food once, which was good. I guess not good because she can't have their food. She has special food, but her feeling comfortable to try and eat their food is good. Then they were seeing each other through the glass door because the kitten's room has a door onto my patio and Snappy goes onto her screened in patio all the time. So Snappy could see them from the the glass door on the patio, the kittens just look at her and she would be like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And then like run away. <laughs> Cause again, she's scared of them. We were working on eating through a door at the same time to try and associate positive scents as well. Like with Snappy eating on one side, them eating on the other. And now we have moved up to eating in the same room, being able to see each other just like through a gate. Again, kittens do not care at all. Shrimp just looks at her the whole time. Snappy, mad. <laughs> the first time she was hissing at them through the gate, but she was still eating. So so she would like take a bite, hiss, and then like go back to eating, hiss again, and then go back to eating and then hiss again. But as we've been doing this, she's become more and more calm, which is exactly what you're supposed to expect. I'm really glad the kittens don't care. Like they just sort of don't react. Kittens aren't really territorial yet at this stage anyway. So that's like totally normal, but Snappy is, uh, she's coming around to it. I have been giving her a break from this stress level stuff for the past couple days though, with like the dental surgery. So once she's better, we can, we can revisit this. <laughs> Everything with the kittens has come at such a strange time for my family. Like all of this has been so chaotic. There's just so, so, so much chaotic cat stuff happening in total, like across my two households with my parents' house and mine. We have seven cats now. Cause I had a cat, they had two cats and then we found four cats. And then slightly, although maybe more than slightly, it actually is really bad news. One of my parents' cats was just diagnosed with cancer. I don't know how many of you were around back then when I lived at home, but you might remember that little black and white tuxedo cat. His name is Pogi. This was one of my childhood cats. So to me, he's still one of my cats, I, I just don't live there anymore. So this has just been kind of like a really horrible, <laughs> horrible couple of months with that going on. When he was first feeling sick, everybody thought it was like maybe allergies or a stomach problem. The vets kind of had a hard time with it and then uh, turned out it was cancer. So that was really bad. He's been on a steroid for about a month now and th it's just things are not good. So I'm sorry to like share this horrible news with you all. So while things have been very chaotic with like all of these cats having all these health things going on, I've been at the vet and I'm not exaggerating at least once a week for like two months straight between like Pogi and his stuff with Snap and her stuff. And then like the frequent kitten checkups and then like Frankie got her blood work done and then her spay. I literally have been constantly at the vet, like constantly for two months straight. Oh, there's so much cat stuff going on. So with all of that, I think the kittens have been like a really amazing welcome distraction from a lot of bad things. These little guys have just been such a highlight and like blessing to have right now. When I was getting Frankie's stuff all packed up to have her go home to my parents' house, I was like sobbing and talking to her and stuff. I'm gonna cry again, but she is just such a sweet, little angel cat and she brought us these babies and they have been such a gift. But I, I am just so glad that she allowed us to help her raise these babies. And, and now I've got some more kitties in my house. Unfortunately, I, I don't think there's gonna be many cat cams for the foreseeable future because these kittens don't like to sit still. They do have their, their moments of napping, but like they, they don't like to sit still for the most part. So they're not as um chill as Snap is. Snap will sit in this chair for hours while I stream and record, but the babies don't, they don't do that. I've been posting a lot of cat pictures on my Instagram story if you want to go check it out and follow me there. Also, literally every day on stream, I start off with a daily cat update. So if you want to 
don't watch my Twitch streams ever. I play The Sims all the time over there. I realize that I am not playing Sims right now and this is just not my regular content, but in case you wanted to see that sort of thing, I'll link that down below too. I'm proud of myself for not crying because I feel like I was like this close a lot of times there. Talking about cats makes me very emotional right now. There's just, again, cat stuff going on in my life right now. The only cat of the seven in my family that I haven't talked about today is Lemon, by the way, and that's just because he's fine. Like nothing, there's no change. He's not sick, he's perfectly healthy, all is well, but he's one of my parents' other cats, so I don't talk about him that often because I don't live with him anymore, but anyway, I think that's my little cat update. I want to get the cat so they can say goodbye to you, but they don't want to sit here on my desk. They want to run. This one is Sunny, and she is here to say goodbye to you, mostly because she was just right there, so I, I grabbed her. So thank you for watching and for caring about my little sewer cats. She might not show it, but she's, she's very grateful. She also has no idea that you exist, and I think on that note, I'm going to end this video right here, so have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. If you missed my first sewer cat update video, I'll link that down below, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow with some regularly scheduled Sims content, okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody. I could literally sit here and talk about my cats all day. It's all I think about, it's all I do, it's all I want to talk about. So um, I'm sorry for my excessive rambling, but I'm just excited and very passionate about this. <laughs>